deep appreciation and gratitude to the Quinnipiac people, the indigenous people on whose land we assemble, my dear Yale community, please join me in a moment of prayer or reflection. Loving and Holy Spirit called on by many names, creator and sustainer of life, we gather here today with anticipation and nervousness. As we embark on this next academic year, Hold us gently and with care. May our time on this beautiful campus be full of light and truth, transformation and growth. May we be open to awe and surprise, in wonder of wisdom and creation. As the world overflows with brokenness, may this be a year of mending, of restoration and renewal. Remind us to be humble before the vast knowledge of the universe, wisdom that is known, not yet known, and unknowable. 
Spirit of wonder and delight, help us to embrace vulnerability, to know human beings are not perfect, and there is perfect and room for growth in the imperfections. Help us continue to move forward despite the fears that linger in our minds. Remind us that failure leads to innovation and creativity. Remind us to play and find joy and whimsy in the moments that punctuate our days. Help us find our purpose. Sacred breath of the universe, we come here today as the fruition of our ancestors' wildest dreams. May we live into being good ancestors ourselves. We have inherited knowledge and traditions. May we shape them for a better future for all. May we embark on this journey and grow from strength to strength as we say, Amen. friends gathered here. Welcome and good morning to you and thank you for everything that you have done in guiding and supporting these young adults. Thanks to the families. I'm delighted that you and your students are joining the Yale community. This opening assembly is one of my favorite formal events of the academic year because it's one of the times that we all come together in fellowship. It's also your first day as new members of this community. Students, you come here today as right. activist and Yale alumna Pauli Murray, who said, <laughs> sorry, I don't have a lot of quotes from all the other uh, colleges, has, but anyway, Pauli Murray's always a good one. Uh, True community is based upon equality, mutuality, and reciprocity. It affirms the richness of individual diversity as well as the common human ties that bind us together. As a college, we are also bound together by the search for knowledge and by the task of helping young people to reach their full potential. But the education you receive at Yale does have something in common with Plato's ideals. We don't require that you major in philosophy. I think the Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences would not mind. today. Although I feel fine, I tested positive for COVID yesterday, and in accordance with the university's health guidelines, I'm staying home. However, I'm delighted to join you through video. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you, our entering students, and your family members to campus, and to mark officially the start of your undergraduate education. This is a big moment for you and for Yale. I'm glad this day has arrived, and I'm so glad you are here. It is evident why you belong at Yale. Your academic distinction, leadership savvy, and outstanding motivation solidify your standing among students who have sat for centuries where you are sitting today. What is more, the richness of your diversity across every dimension reflects Yale's commitment to creating an inclusive educational environment. Now, as you prepare to enter Yale, leave your unique imprint on it. Allow me to alert you to a perennial observation among our alumni. Many of your predecessors, I must caution, have marveled at the breakneck clip at which today's festivities give way to your... Your artificial intelligence has given us a glimpse into its potential to compound these things. So rather than move fast and break things, I say here today, slow down and fix things. Now, 
I am not a bloodhaker. I treasure the benefits of technological advance to our lives and our relationships. Here on campus, for example, the COVID-19 pandemic highlighted the extraordinary usefulness of digital tools in sustaining our educational mission and allowing us to cope and connect with one another amid social isolation and hardship. And sometimes tech is just plain fun. I can spend time.
2027. My name is Jeff Dalma. I'm the director of the Yale Glee Club, and we have the great pleasure to introduce you to Bright College Years, our unofficial alma mater, and a song you will hear and sing during your time at Yale. In four years at class day, on the day before you graduate, surrounded by your classmates just as you are now, we will sing it together again, led by one of you, the future Glee Club president. I invite you all to join in. The words and music are on the card on your seat, and as generations of Yaleys have done before you, wave your handkerchiefs high while singing the song's last line, for God, for country, and for Yale. We are conducted by the current Glee Club president, a war on Guru. So quick. 
Ну, не пикам. Ну, не